Today, I will be attempting Mark Burnett's challenge to draw hands for 12 hours straight and conquering the fear of drawing hands. I thought this would be a good challenge for myself as I always wanted to improve on drawing hands, but honestly, I just hate doing hands and they scare me. So we're going to draw them anyways. So here we go. Just a heads up before this video starts, I already failed to do this 12 hours straight, but what I did do is I would do one hour of drawing hands and after that, I would just take a break and get right back on it. Let's see if I learned anything towards the end. Alright, so I'm going to do a live commentary on these hands. So, for the first couple hands, I mostly focus on the basic shapes, capturing the silhouette of the hand. A good tip for uh, figuring out how to draw a hand is actually drawing the silhouette of it. And that will help capture the pose of the hand very well. So that's a useful tip for you guys to know. And I'm not going to do commentary over everything just uh, for I'm, I'm only doing it for just a couple of the time lapses. So yeah, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so that's it for the first half of the 12 hours. So I did 50 hands in my first batch. And basically what I did for these hands, all I did was just find the basic shapes for uh, like the fingers. Uh, I like to use the cylinder 
And sometimes I would like to taper it so it's like curved like this. For some fingers, there's like three parts. There's like three shapes to it, and then for some there's two. For me, I like to do two most of the time. That's what I did back then for my hands, but I think it's better to do three. It might depend on the situation, but I think two is like the simplest you could do uh, if you want to like really simplify your hands. So yeah, that's what I did, finding the basic shape of the fingers. And I also use or try to capture the silhouette of the hand so I could capture the pose very easily. And that's basically what I did for the first batch and also the second batch. So yeah, uh, for the second uh, half of the 12 hours, uh, I'm going to do something different here. I'm going to add more shading into it. So yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, what's up? I'm back. So, for these set of hands, I streamed this live on Twitch because I felt that uh, I wasn't being productive enough. So yeah, here I'm focusing more on just shading, I guess figure out the form of the hands more. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. I'm just trying to, uh, at this point, just waste time because I'm tired of doing uh, this challenge. So that's why I'm just incorporating more shading so I could uh, use up the time. So yeah, that's pretty much what happens for uh, most of these uh, time lapses. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we're at the final last two hours, and again, I streamed this on Twitch. So here at this point, I was just like, okay, I'm tired of doing this challenge. I, I want to get this over, so I decided to do a quick painting. So I did that, it took around like 40 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. And... Now I'm just going back to just regular drawing hands, figuring out the construction of it, uh, doing like light shading here. So it wasn't too bad. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. I have nothing else to say. And I'll see you guys again for the recap. Alright, and that's it for this challenge. 12 hours completed and 135 hands in total that I have drawn. And 
Yeah, that's that's a lot of hands that I've ever drawn in my life, I'm pretty sure. So just a quick recap of the second half of the hands that I did. So pretty much the same thing. I mean, I feel like if you look at it, the construction is way better. The hand, it just feels, you know, more like a hand. The anatomy of it feels better. Like it's more dynamic from the first couple of hands. I, I've definitely see, I've definitely see a lot of improvement in my hands. So I'm very happy with that. And also my hand drawing got way faster than before, which is also really good. Okay, so the main thing I can take away from this challenge is drawing hands got way faster than before. Like earlier, it would take a long time just to draw like a simple hand. So definitely drawing the gesture of the hand got way faster. My construction of the hand uh, got way better. It feels more 3D, uh, more dynamic, and overall just feels more like a hand. So would I recommend this challenge? Yeah, I mean, I, I would say for some people, this would be very beneficial, but the one thing, the one problem is, uh, I think this will make you burn out very quickly. So definitely take your time with this one, but I would say if you're more like a advanced artist, I think this would definitely be helpful for you. If you're a beginner, um, I would say take it slow, take it one step at a time, you know, take some breaks. Uh, what I did here, I, I, I took a lot of breaks. It really helped me uh, continue this challenge. So yeah, I mean, overall, it's an okay challenge to do. Just be mindful that the amount of hands you're gonna draw. So yeah, that's it for this video. If this video gets over a hundred likes, I will do another 12 hour challenge, but this time I'll do it 12 hours straight and not fail. And we'll probably do a different body part. And yeah, that's it for this video. Have a wonderful day.